Heavenly Father, I want to take this time tonight to pray for all staff and prayer warriors for the 2020 prayer show from the Zeph Report. Father God, coming up tomorrow. Father God, on the 20th. Father God, I want to pray some prevention prayers and binding and loosing prayers over all the prayer team staff and on the new, two newcomers. I thank you for the two newcomers, the couple, the couple, Father God. And I want to pray, Father God, over Zeph and Patricia and over Patrick and over Govinda, Amelia, and Charlie Kunita, or Kunita Ramble, and over the, the couple, Father God, I think John and Valet. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I hope that's the right names. I got the names right. And I want to pray for all the other viewers out there all over the world that are joining us to pray and have been joining us to pray for the 2020 prayer team, prayer group from the Zeph Report uh, on the 20th of each month. And Father God, I want to pray for their protection as well too, Father God. And I ask, number one, Father, that you will cover all the staff prayer team in the 2020 prayer team and all the other uh, viewers and watchers, Father God, in the Zeph Report from the 2020 prayer team to protect and cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, that you will cover their spirit, souls, and bodies in their lives with the blood of Jesus Christ. I ask, Father God, that you will release the blood of Jesus Christ to cover their minds and their souls, their personality, their wills, their intellects, their belief systems, and in their minds, well, I meant to say, the moods and temperaments and emotions and feelings with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, their personalities with the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray, Father God, that you'll protect and preserve their health with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray that you will send a numerous amount of your army of angels, of guardian angels to protect Zeph, Patricia, Amelia, Govinda, Kunita, Patrick, Valid, and John. Father God, and all viewers on the prayer team, and the 2020 prayer team, Father God, to protect them from all evil, danger, and harm, and all infirmity and weapon attacks, and from any type of sicknesses, from any type of satanic witchcraft or Satanisms, or witchcraft attacks, spells, hexes, vexes, jinxes, and any type of weapons, Father God, beamers and lasers and all any type of flu or serious cases of infirmity attacks, Father God, and energy attacks in Jesus Christ's name, Father, and that you'll protect them from any type of oppression or depression or anything trying to bring them low in any kind of way from any type of blowbacks from the results of praying, Father, that you would just cover all of us, including myself too, Father, because I'm part of the 2020 prayer team. All the prayer team staff and all the prayer team prayer warriors, Father God, including myself, Father God, with your shield and hedge of protection, Father God, and with your glory shield, Father God, to cover and protect us from all witchcraft attacks and Satanism and all types of freemasonries or whatever, sorceries and divinations in Jesus Christ's name. And I bind and I take authority against all evil entities and deities that come against the 2020 prayer team staff and the 2020 prayer team prayer warriors that come against me as well because I'm part of their prayer team. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I bind up the spirit of witchcraft, the spirit of sorcery and divination in Jesus Christ's name. And I break these evil spirits of witchcraft, sorcery, divination, Freemasonry, Satanism off of us and omens off of us and curses and hexes and vexes and jinxes off of us in Jesus Christ's name. And Father God, I pray that any witch and warlock that is praying against any of the prayer staff team and the 2020 prayer staff team that's praying against any of the prayer team, uh, prayer warriors, Father God, all over the world, that you, 
Father God would supernaturally intervene and um, reverse all witchcraft and sorceries and divinations and evil altars and covenants back to any witch or warlock or Satanist that's praying against us at any time of the day between the midnight hours, between the 20th of tomorrow, Father God of February, and Father God between any time after and during the time that we're praying, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you are protecting us and you are shielding us with your power. You are shielding us with the blood of Jesus Christ and with, and that you will cover us with your spiritual wall of protection with your holy fires in Jesus Christ's name to protect us and shield us from all evil dangers and harms and all types of witchcraft, Satanism and evil wishes and evil declarations and curses and altars in Jesus Christ's name. And Father God, I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will heal anyone that needs healing from any type of infirmity in Jesus Christ's name, discomfort or pain in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. From all the prayer team, the 2020 prayer team and the 2020 prayer staff, team staff in Jesus Christ's name and the Zeph report. In Jesus Christ's name, Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are also being targeted as well in the prayer team, in the 2020 prayer team. And so are the staff leaders, Father God, are being targeted. You know, so this is why I feel led to do this video, Father God, during the midnight hours. Father God, when there is witchcraft activity going on a lot, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that I feel led to do it because the Holy Spirit been pondering me to do this today. So I'm going to do it and I'm being obedient to your voice, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, Father God, that you release all your warrior angels that chase every evil entity and deity away from us in Jesus Christ's name to protect us from any type of astral protection, witchcraft, evil dreams, demonic dreams from the devil in Jesus Christ's name to cover our minds to protect us from any type of mind weapons and mind controlling programming spirits in Jesus Christ's name and any succubus and Incubus spirits at night and bad dreams at night, Father God, and any astral projection witchcraft to protect us from any witches coming out of their bodies to curse us or curse our homes or or touch us or curse us in Jesus Christ's name, that you loose the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, upon those witches and the judgment of the blood of Jesus Christ, and that you will supernaturally intervene to put a stop to this evil activity of astral projection witchcraft, that it would not take a hit on us whatsoever because we are covered with your holy shield and we are covered with um, your hedge, Father God, and your glory shield in Jesus Christ's name and that you would cover that glory shield with your holy fires and with the blood of Jesus Christ to ward out all evil agents of witchcraft and evil astral projection witchcraft that you will protect us from evil eye curses and mind curses too. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, and I pray, Father God, that you, Heavenly Father, will protect us from witches and Satanists and warlocks and masons, Father God, and that you'll protect us from satanic ritual abuse and satanic ritual activity, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray that you'll protect us from all dangers of car accidents or car wrecks or any type of travel traveling issues, airplane or whoever travels, Father God, on plane or by foot on bicycle or skateboard or scooter or whatever, Father God, or by foot in Jesus Christ's name, that you'll protect us 24-7, Father God, every day, that you will send your guardian angels to encamp around us and guard and protect us from evil spirited people, from predators and perpetrators that come against us and evil doers and workers of iniquity and powers of darkness, Father God, and evil entities, Father God, everywhere we go, Father God, whether we stay home or whether we go on the go to different places and run our errands in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, Father God, that you will cover our finances with the blood of Jesus Christ and protect our finances with the blood of Jesus Christ, that you will protect our families and our children for the ones that do have children and pets, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I pray that you will cover our homes and cars with the blood of Jesus Christ, including my place too, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ, and that you will cover our financial, all our financial assets with the blood of Jesus Christ, our relationships with the blood of Jesus Christ, and that you will cover um, our thinking 
our thought patterns on every conscious level with the blood of Jesus Christ and that you'll protect us from any type of Z2K mind controlling weapons, Father God, and that you will break those type of weapons off of the ones that are suffering with that, Father God, you know, that are prayer wars in the prayer team, in the 2020 prayer team from the Zeph report, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. And Father God, I pray that you would especially protect Zeph, Father God, because I know sometimes he gets very hard blowbacks, you know, during this time of the 2020 prayer time, Father God, and after. So I pray that you will supernaturally just release an extra dosage and pouring, outpouring of the blood of Jesus Christ and the anointing of you, Father, and the anointing of El Shaddai and the power and the fire of the Holy Spirit to protect him and your shield around Zeph, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, that you would just really protect him from any attacks of weapons and infirmity attacks and flus and strange, freaky illnesses, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that doesn't have a name to it, but it's just very like deadly that you would protect him from any deadly plagues and, and infirmities and witchcraft attacks and Satanism and Freemasonry, Masonic attacks in Jesus Christ. And that you will break all anxiety off of him and fear and social phobias off of him from anything that's connected to witchcraft like that, that's causing anxiety and fear upon him, that you will break and burn those spirits of fear and anxiety and social phobias off of him, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and anything connected to it emotionally and spiritually and anything connected to any type of witchcraft or spells connected to it. If that's the case, that you will break that off of self, Father God, with your power and your anointing, with your holy fires down to the ashes, to the ground, to not in Jesus Christ's name. And Father God, I pray that you will release Heavenly Father, uh, your power, your anointing, and the blood of Jesus Christ to deliver all prayer warriors, Father, from the 2020 team whether they're staff people or whether they are followers, Father God, and viewers of the Zephyr Report, show all over the world, Father God, and all over America, Father God, and that are praying in agreement, you know, with the Zeph Report 2020 prayer team, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray, Father God, that you will really heal Amelia, Father God, from the flu that you burn and break that out of her body, to burn that out and cast it out with your holy fires and your power and your with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, and that you will break all infirmities off of her and flus off of her with your power and your anointing. In Jesus Christ's name, and with the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, and that you will restore help into her and make her whole inside out of her body and her mind and her soul and her personality, Father God, and in her body, Father God, in Jesus Christ, and that you will clear out any type of flu-like symptoms in, out of her body, Father God, in her throat and her, Can you see and, and her stomach or whatever, Father God, wherever it, the flu symptoms are, that you will burn it out in Jesus Christ's name, and I cast it out, the flu out of her in Jesus Christ's name, and that you will burn it out and counsel it out with the blood of Jesus Christ out of her body in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you for making her well, Father God, and that you will heal her from any distress any type of work that she's doing with the type of work that she does with the children, Father God, to with Port Hope to Justice, Father God, God to with the stressful situations them. of dealing with cases, Father that God, and disappointments of it and stuff, free. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will heal her from anything else that she's going through. It's time with dealing to with very difficult people out there that way, Father God, that have crossed her path in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father God, that you will give her strength to endure and persevere, and that you would do that for all out of the prayer team, Father God, all the prayer staff God's team, that you will do it with, for all the prayer warriors in the 2020 team, Father God, and for myself, Father God, as well, that you will really comfort us on every side 
Lord God, and touch us and send your ministry and you to us day and night, Father God, and comfort us day and night. In Jesus Christ, including today, including these midnight hours, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray that you will protect us from any type of witchcraft activity and curses and hexes and vexes.